the national identity number. Barrister Adeleke spoke on it briefly about uh, what happened in December 2020 when I insisted that there must be link and NIN verification. Initially, Adeleke and his colleagues insisted it was not possible, and I said no. There is no word impossible in my dictionary, so please don't smuggle it. So they had various meetings without my notifying me officially, trying to find an exit. I said, no, this must be implemented. One of my predecessors initiated the idea 12 years ago. There was a threat to his life. He <laughs> decided to withdraw his initiative. In 2017-18, the idea was also approved by the Federal Zakaria Council. The implementation was not possible. Why? Because of intimidation by criminals. They don't like their identity to be known. So when you initiate any program that will expose and make their identity known, then they will target you. I insisted on the implementation of the policy the first time was in February, 4th February 2020. When I announced it, the next day it was on BBC that some people were planning to eliminate me by even giving a directives wherever I was seen in Africa or West Africa, I should be eliminated. I strongly believe that nobody has power over my life, only Almighty Allah has. And my life is in the hand of the Almighty. Only Almighty will determine the time I will spend on this cosmos, not any mortal being. No human being can reduce my second, no matter how he hates me, and no individual can increase one second for me, no matter how he likes or he loves me. That is not possible. This one belongs to the Almighty. And because of this, I said I will continue. With all intimidations, I say I will continue. DSS office was worried. They sent security, an armored vehicle. I said, can you put it on? And I said, no, I cannot put it on hold. I have announced it, and I stood by it. If that could be the end of my life, I have no regret. I can sacrifice this life for Nigeria. I have no problem. <laughs> After a year, with all intimidations, we couldn't turn back. Then character assassination. Some people gathered huge amount of money, some from the sector that were against some outside the sector. They sponsored a campaign of calumny against me. Still, I say no going back. 